Welcome to Trade with Rob, brought to you by WealthBuildersHQ.com. This update is for Friday, July 26, 2024. Hope you're having a fantastic day. As we get started here, keep in mind everything we look at is for education. Nothing's meant to be advice or recommendations. If you find something you like anything, make sure it fits your own personal risk profile or risk tolerance. All right. So as we do get started, folks, I want to remind you of something. I said this yesterday. We're going to make this announcement a few more times. Uh, we have the ability for you to subscribe to this free video. So you'll get an email from us that says, hey, today is the day that we put it out. And by doing so, one of the things that I do is I get 10, 12, 20 candidates each day to look over that fit the uh, profile of what I'm looking for in a switchback trade. I only pick three. For those that subscribe, when we send you an email that says, hey, the video's ready, you can go check it out, it's going to include the balance of the candidates that did not get talked about in the video so you now can go and draw the fibs analyze the position and determine based on the same rules i'm teaching you here is this a trade you might want to consider so if nothing else you'll wind up with a half a dozen a dozen 15 18 20 more candidates uh, than just watching the video itself all right with that being said i want to start off first by going into the three candidates from yesterday which was a net was the very first one all right, we had a net set up. Ooh, what a beauty today, baby. So let me actually bring the chart over. You know, let me make it smaller just so I can fit the chart and this table on there at the same time. Okay, so here's my a net trade right there. We got a bearish trade in there. We got in at 325 and a half. We got out of the trade at 311 and a half on, the, you know, a little bit higher up, two bucks off of there. So we had. $311.50 was the closing price. We're up 11, uh, not 1100 $1,008 on this move, winning trade, right? Next is DKS. So let's go over here and do DKS, All right? Let me get back my spread the sheet. So DKS, we had a bullish bounce on DKS. Really wasn't that great. We did not move up enough to get taken out at the top. So we pulled back, we bounced, we got in on that trade right about 202. We get out near the end of the day at 203, well, we're up 72 bucks. It ain't great, but I'll take the winner over the chicken dinner every time. All right, and lastly, we've got Meta. Meta, da 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 da, ooh, I like it, I love it. So look at that, guys. We gapped up just slightly, we failed, retested, dropped. When we look at our uh, track record here, We've got a bullish trade, a, um, sorry, not bullish trade, it's a bearish trade on Meta. I need to fix that. I, the numbers are going to have to change because of that. But uh, I don't know. Maybe the same thing. Hold on. Nope. Numbers are the same. I just had bull in there instead of bear. Uh, when you type the B, sometimes it just assumes what the word is going to be because of everything that's above it. So it was a bearish setup on there. We got in at 461, which is right up in here, about a buck and a half below. We got out at 450, so about two bucks off of that line. So we didn't get it all the way down. We didn't get on the close. $792. Has that put us for our track record now? We're up $4,133. If you look down the bottom per trade PL right here, we've got 17 trades overall, 11 winners, six went against us. We had seven out break even, so they don't count. I mean, uh, nothing, no break even, nothing. We didn't trade them, uh, seven of them, of the candidates. 243.17 is our average rate of return. Per position right now this is assuming you took the trade exactly the way that I laid it out these are how the numbers pan out for that so now let's go ahead and look at the market for today and look at our three candidates for today and remember if you want to get the rest of them starting next week we're gonna be sending the balance of those candidates out so make sure you go over to trade like trade trade with Rob uh, we've got trading like a boss so many different sites trade with Rob you can get it on trading like a boss.com uh, register for the free uh, email sequence that's going to send you the email that says oh we just uploaded a video and by the way here are the new candidates being added in all right so s p 500 it's been all over the place retesting that 5473 which is a mid fib point uh, and failing off it closing at a lower low yet again today people are freaking out we closed below the last vestige that last moving average now so let's go see what we've got for candidates for today. Uh, ACN is the very first one. So I like the pattern for ACN, but I really like it more for the upside than I do the downside. So on the upside, if I can get this move to get above that two, 332 and a quarter, come back and retest, doesn't have to come all the way down and bounce. We'll take the bullish trade on that bounce right in there somewhere. 
we're going to be at about 341 is going to be our target our stop is going to be somewhere down below our 332 and a quarter level and then you've got the eight moving average here is the downside which only gives us four or five dollars I don't really care for this one to the downside if I don't get the upside I'm not really interested at all next after ACN is Abercrombie and we always do them in alphabetical there's no particular order other than alphabetical so on Abercrombie we had a nice little move to the downside today we closed underneath that 152.76 we're going to start off with the bearish trade set up first uh small move down a retest and a fail we'll take the bearish entry as it fails and bounces off probably right about 151 and three quarter 151 and a half is going to be the entry the target's going to be about 143 and a quarter is right about where i'm going to have my target on this one for the upside we might have enough room up there we've got let's see 158 and 153 if you're going to take this guys it's going to be tight all right you need to move up the retest and the bounce 158 uh because i'm moving average 158 so 157 is going to be resistance or uh, target rather target 158 is resistance uh we're looking at 154 is going to be the entry so i don't have a whole lot of money in there you know room in there you could take it i'm not crazy about it It would have to really be a great setup for me to want to take that one tomorrow and then we've got spotify s-p-o-t sport right great trade today man it did exactly what it was supposed to ping pong inside of the two fib lines we broke that 330 level we've got two potential trades in there right uh first one would be a bearish setup right come on uh move down a little bit retest and fail the entry's there when you fell off it you're going to take this trade right about 329 you're going to look at about 322 and a half 323 probably closer to 323 uh yeah 323 would be my target so you don't got a lot of room in there uh on this one to the downside to the upside if we get the move up pull back and bounce we could take the bullish entry uh, a little bit less room on this one to the upside you're in about 332 is the entry and right about 335 and a half is going to be our target and there you have it ladies and gentlemen have a great rest of your day go ahead and get registered for trade with rob at tradewithrob.com it is a free service that you'll get an email that this video is complete along with all of the additional candidates which today just give you an fy fyi let me get rid of my drawing tool these are the candidates from today you can get an idea what i'm talking about those are the potentials these are the three that i picked there's another 15 minus 1 14 minus 3 11 more candidates as potential trade setups for tomorrow all right have a great day i will see you all on the next one bye for now